Hi, uh, it's Tyler. Now, you can probably tell that I have switched off the volume of my game. Now, that's because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 drops right behind me, and that is causing a huge sound, and I can't even hear what I'm saying. So, I'll turn it on afterwards, but again, this video is exactly what the title says how to use the color of drops to find out what resources actually is in space. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So let me turn the sound up slightly. Right, so in front of us, we have, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different drops. They are all eight different colors. Now, I'm, I don't know if you guys actually noticed, but there are eight different color of drops. I certainly didn't notice because I haven't experienced all eight zones while actually farming drops, but there are eight unique color of drops. So there are the white, the green, the blue, the purple, the yellow, red. This one is blue again and golden. Wait, we got two blues. Yep. Ah, this one's a bit darker blue. That one's a bit lighter blue. All right, we'll call it that. So um, the white, this is the white color loot crate and the light, uh, white color loot crate actually corresponds to amber grit. So if you see a white color loot crate, you can actually know that whatever is in space is an ambergris. So if you want an ambergris, therefore taming stuff, then definitely go out there and um, get it. For the green drop, it is actually crystal. So if you need any crystal, so this is just the normal crystal, not the um, not the uh, green gems or blue gems. So it is just the pure default white crystal. The blue drop is sulfur. So if you need sulfur for anything, then definitely get it while you see the dark blue drop. Dark blue drop is sulfur. If you see purple drop, that means that um, element shard is the resources that is outside right now if you see a yellow drop that means that obsidian is the resources in space if you see a red drop it means that oil is the resources in space and if you see a blue drop it means that um, element dust is in space and last but not least, if you see a golden drop, it means that black pearl is in space. Now, I am not sure if there can exist more than one resources at a time in space. So there might be more than one color drops at a time. But if you see a color drop drop at your uh, exact time, then that means that that resources is in space. So whatever color drop you see here, that means that that resources is in space and you should go get it. Now, unfortunately, I don't exactly see where um, element is. I believe element is um, with the purple drop. So um, the purple is element shards and element, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I think if you see a purple drop, you can expect to also get element as well. Now, um, I found it because someone told me in Discord, but after I looked into it, if you looked at the spawn commands of the drops, which I'll put on screen right now, Dolly actually gave us an idea of this because the spawn command for one of these drops, if you have actually looked into it, is literally the resources corresponding in space. And it even says in the spawn command, in space. So yeah, that's just quite an interesting feature. Now, obviously, if you, if you don't want to fly around looking for drops, then you can simply place a bed in space. And every time it switches between day and night, you can just spawn there and have a look. It's slightly more annoying since you have to fly out, but it also works, but you know, if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to do that every night, then this is a decent way. By seeing a drop, you will be able to know exactly what resources outside and you can go and farm the resources you need. So I'll pl um, put another picture on screen right now, which is basically all the resources corresponding to all the different colors of the drops. So yeah, I uh, hope this definitely helped you and I'll see all legends in the next one. Peace out.